Again, this is a series. There should be an annotation on the screen to the full playlist. We've been working with HTML5 and um, 3D stuff using uh, 3.js, 3js.org uh, is where you go to get those files. Um, and hopefully you've watched the previous tutorials because we're going to be using what we've created. So you were just looking at what we created last week. I've copied that into a new file called Cube Lambert. And uh, Lambert is a style of um, materials for 3D stuff. And uh, so last time we were using mesh basic material. Uh, we gave it a wire view, uh, a wire frame, and gave those wires a line thickness. But let's remove those and go back here and refresh this. Now you can see it's a solid cube, but there's no shading. Uh, well, t with the Lambert material, we'll get some shading, but we also need to add some lighting, as you will see. So let's come in here. Let's go here and change it from uh, basic mesh material or mesh basic material to mesh Lambert material. Remember, it is case sensitive, capital M, capital L, capital M. And this is from our 3JS library. So uh, rest of the script we've talked about, we've created in previous tutorials, but our cube object is we're creating is an object, it's a new object. Using our three library, our 3JS, we're creating a mesh. This mesh, what type of mesh is this new mesh going to be? It's going to be a cube geometry. These are its uh, parameters as far as size, uh, length, width, height, and depth. Uh, then we're going to give it a new material and that material is going to be a Lambert material with the color of light blue. So let's go ahead and save that and come here and refresh and you notice we just have a black cube. It's not light blue at all. Why? Because we don't have a light source and if you don't have a light everything looks black because black is the opposite of light. It's the opposite. It's the absence of color. It's the absence of light which contains the color. So we need to give it a light source. And you can get real advanced with uh, light sources, but we're going to create a simple directional light in this particular case. Um, so let's var and create an object. We'll just call it light. Uh, and we will say that it is a new. And from our 3JS library, we're going to call, it, uh, call from it a directional light. Again, case sensitive there. And uh, we're going to pass it some parameters. We're just going to say white. And we'll get the documentation on this a little bit. Um, next, we need to give it a position. So we're going to say our light dot position dot set. And we'll, we'll give it an x, y, and z coordinates of, we'll say, 2 comma 2 comma 2. Uh, we're going to play around with that in a minute. And we're going to say to uh, normalize it. And of course, even if you create something, it doesn't exist in our scene until we add it to our scene. So our scene we created above, we're going to say scene.add and we will add in our light. Now if I typed everything properly, come back here, refresh, and we now have a cube with that you can see it's a light blue and it's rotating and you can see the shades from the light. So the light source, we said two, two, and two, all positive numbers. So from the center, which the cube is right at the center, um, the light is two units away from us, two units to our right, and two units up. So it's relatively close to our cube. Now. I could increase those numbers to something like that. Refresh. Not too much of a difference there. Again, the light is kind of behind it. So we got our X, Y, and Z. Y would be forward and back. Let's set the X to zero. That's left and right. So it will be directly in line with the camera. And let's do a uh, negative number here. I'll say negative 400 which is where the camera is on the y-coordinates. The camera is also 
at 400 units up. So we will put it there. So the light source should be coming directly from where our camera is. It would be like having a directional light on our camera. And there we go. You can see that the light it shaded different because basically from where the camera is, light is directly onto our cube. Let's have a quick look at uh, our documentation here uh, for directional light from the 3js.org website. There are two parameters you can pass to it uh, directly uh, while creating it, and that's a hex value for the color. I just passed it the color white um, through words rather than using a hex value in RGB. We're going to get more into how to create different colors later on. Um, now, we also have an intensity, which you can see here when we float over it is a float. Um, so we're going to give it a number basically, but it's a float so it can be, uh, it can have a decimal value. So let's see if here if it says it's, it's light strength or intensity. Let's see if there's a default value. I'm assuming the default's probably one. Uh, creates light, shine from direction, Gnostic position, light, uh, behave, analog. Doesn't say, as you can see, it has a lot of parameters you can pass to it. We're looking at the very basics today. Let's just start playing with numbers. I'm going to assume that the default is one, so let's set the value. And the default is what happens if you don't give it a value. We'll say 0.5. So I'm assuming it will be half strength. Refresh this, and you can see it's a little bit darker. If we put it down to zero, it would become completely black again with no shading because there would be no light source to create shades. Let's go the other way and turn it way up to five. So once again, if one is the default, five is going to be, well, five times brighter. Oh, and you can barely see it. It's so washed out. You can see what's in the shadows slightly as the cube rotates. So let's set this. Let's try two. Not sure. If, there we go. So you can see it's still very washed out, but we can see the cube. So you can adjust the brightness of that directional light uh, with a value there for the intensity. Um, and that's about it for this tutorial. So we can definitely see this cube. Let's just uh, set this back to one. Um, and let's give it a, a nicer color. <laughs> that's an ugly, that light blue is kind of ugly. Let's go just go regular blue. There we go, that looks a little bit nicer. Um, I will be uploading this code to my website. You can go ahead and check the description for a link to all the codes uh, in this series of uh, videos. Also, um, you know, download it, play with it, play with those values. Um, but now we have a rotating cube uh, that actually has some shading to it so it doesn't just look like a blob of a cube. Um, and that's it for this tutorial. Uh, we'll get more into lighting. You can give lighting other aspects, uh, other properties such as colors, and there's other types of, uh, of lights such as ambient lighting. But I just wanted to give you the basics of the directional light since we needed that to go over our Lambert uh, material. So as always, this is part of a series. Check out the annotation for the full playlist. There'll be a new video every Friday. If you get to a point in the video where the videos are marked private, that's because they haven't been published yet. There'll be a new one next Friday. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like this topic, be sure to give the video a thumbs up so I know people are liking this topic and I'm not wasting my time. And uh, I hope you watch uh, some of my other videos as well. And I hope that you have a great day.